After learning a little concept of complex number, let's talk about the equality of two complex number. Uh, for a while, let's say I have a complex number Z1, which is A1 plus, uh, let's say, I times B1. And similarly, let's say I have another complex number Z2. That time, uh, let me imagine this is complex number A2 plus I times B2, all right? So these are two complex number. So when, when can I assume that these two complex number z1 and z2 are equal let's say z1 and z2 so what is that condition when z1 and z2 i mean the two complex number get equal so i'm just doing all right uh, i'm just checking out the i'm just trying to find out the two conditions for a while a1 plus i b1 equals to a2 plus i b2 all right and now what i'm doing i'm writing a1 and i'm bringing this a2 into uh, left hand side so it will be a2 all right and here I have I times B2 and this IB1 is getting into the right hand side so it will be I times B1 and further it's A1 minus A2 equals to and now I'm taking here I and I so I can take easily the the common all right I, I co get common so it will be I B2 minus B1 and now I'm going to square both sides all right squaring both sides So we'll get here now a1 minus a2 whole square and it will be i square, all right? I out i square and it's b2 minus b1 whole square. Further, if you look, it is now a1 minus a2 whole square and out i square that's minus 1 because we know this, you know, i square equals to minus 1 and then it's b1 minus b2 whole square further a1 minus a2 whole square and this <clears throat> this is minus 1 so when it will come this will be plus and now b1 uh, it's b2 not b1 all right it's b2 minus b1 whole square equals to 0 now take a look very seriously on this condition a1 minus a2 whole square plus b1 minus b2 whole square so this is only possible when this part is 0 and this part is 0 it means a1 minus a2 whole square is 0 and which gives finally us a1 minus a2 equals to 0 and that leads to a1 equals to a2 and from this second condition we have b2 minus b1 whole square equals to 0 that gives us b2 minus b1 equals to 0 and finally that leads us to the b2 equals to b1. So here we get the condition when two complex number gets equal. So if a1 equals to a2 and b2 equals to b1, and that time, that time, if this condition exists, then then I can say that the two complex number z1 equals to z2. If the real part of the both uh, complex number is equal, and similarly the imaginary part, uh, imaginary part containing real number b1. Is equals to b2 so this is the condition of two complex number when they get equal all right and uh, one thing let me tell you my friend uh, when the imaginary part of the two complex number it's b1 and b2 I'm talking about these two things if these are non-zero then that time it's very very uh, difficult you know you cannot compare the two uh, two complex number whether z1 is greater than z2 or z2 is greater than z1 I mean I mean let's say z1 equals to 4 plus 3i and j2 equals to let's say minus 3 plus 2i so how can you say j1 is bigger or j2 is bigger you cannot compare which one is bigger or smaller i'm not talking about the absolute value all right i'm not talking about the absolute value of j1 and j2 i'm not talking about these two things if you're remembering all right uh simply i'm saying the value i mean the j1 or j2 which one is bigger which one is smaller i cannot i cannot figure out it's a uh, we need to learn in higher level of uh, complex number all right uh, at present time simply i can uh, i i, I want to tell you we cannot determine uh, which trigger uh, which which uh, complex number is bigger or smaller if the imaginary part is non-zero all right if this is non-zero we cannot determine so simply here i want to tell you the com uh, the, com the condition when the two complex number get equal simply if the real uh, uh real part or you can say real numbers are equal you know the real numbers uh, are equal means uh, imaginary part real number and 
uh, real part real number are equal then that time the two complex number are 100% equal all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye